Everyone knows the woods are a witch's favorite haunt. YouTuber the Ghost Hunter captured this witch on camera at around 11 p.m. First, they hear a terrible scream. <laughs> They continue to hear these strange noises and as they carry around a ring of fire, they hear more. The strange sounds continue. आप खत्म होने वाली है हमारी तो इसके लिए हमें और थोड़ा फास्ट जाना पड़ेगा चल चल बट दे डोंट सी एनी थिंग तो से इधर उधर हमारा लाइट ही बुझ जा रहा है it is definitely not an animal. But remains out of sight. Well, I'm not sure that's a witch. As the channel suggests, I do think they have something paranormal on their hands. A demon? A skinwalker? Who knows? All I know is I wouldn't want to hear this in the middle of the woods at night. Imagine being confronted by something invisible while out minding your own business. That's what happened to an unfortunate man in this video which is currently trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, the video's original source is YouTube channel Scary Videos. The first few minutes of the security footage are uneventful, people walking and motorcycles driving down the street at night. Then something bizarre happens. Enter the unfortunate man from stage right. After he is pushed to the ground by a semi-transparent force, the other dude helps the guy up. So what is really going on here? Here's a closer look. It looks somewhat like a shadow figure to me, but after pushing him, it disappears. What is it? And where did it go? I'm not certain what kind of being this is but it looks like an aggressive force, and I wouldn't want to be on its bad side." Ben of the YouTube channel Laney and Ben says paranormal events still occur in their forever haunted home. Here is a quick update of some of those events. First, a cup trick. <laughs> Followed by the opening of kitchen drawers. Watch the silverware closely. Things get even more dangerous in another video. And the kitchen soon devolves into this madness. It 
It doesn't appear that Lainey and Ben's poltergeists are fading anytime soon. In fact, the last video makes me think their powers are only getting stronger. A spirit pulls a member of the YouTube team, Kaza Sabre Natural, down a staircase in this scary video. Upon first entering the haunted place, they hear something, and they discover a rope tied to a wooden beam overhead. A gente acabou de escutar os passos ali. Calma, Ler. Tá, tá, tá muito iluminado ali, acho que não. Normal. E a corda continua aqui, aquela corda, cara, que tinha aqui, ó. Credo, Parecia que uma pessoa tava querendo se enforcar. Aqui. Is that a news? As they continue their search of the place, they hear a voice. Escutou a voz aqui, ó. Olá. Escutou a voz? Credo, Sandro. They hear something again and start to head upstairs. Sério, cara, não tô falando assim. O que foi isso? Pega uma lente, Sandro. O que foi isso? Vamos lá. <laughs> but they soon wish they wouldn't have. What just dragged this crew member down the stairs? If it is indeed a spirit, I wouldn't be following it downward. It may be leading this team to the fiery depths below. When you visit an abandoned hospital, you don't expect this to happen. Redditor Bored Guy Online posted this scary video evidence that he captured in the ICU. Keep an eye at the end of the hall to the right. Something mysterious is going on here. Being that all hospitals are likely haunted, maybe these doors aren't malfunctioning after all. If that's the case though, who is opening and closing this ICU door? He can see us, but we can't see him. I think it's time to leave this abandoned hospital and stay far away. You wouldn't want anything following you home now. East Riddles Den Hall in West Yorkshire, England is considered one of Britain's most haunted houses. While at the hall, YouTuber Roman Joe took a video of the old barn to send to her partner. When she watched it back, she noticed something strange. Let's take a look. Did you see it? Watch the window to the left of the carriage. Something seems to block the light for a moment. The YouTuber believes it's a spirit passing by the window. If it's true that no one was on site, to me the only thing that could explain this is if that window had a shutter that just so happened to move with the wind at the same moment that the camera pans past. Otherwise, this is for sure the Grey Lady and I think they should get out of there immediately. This family has been affected by dark magic for years. They believe it's witchcraft because they found unexplained earth crosses and voodoo dolls outside their home. This professional has come to release them from the bad energies. She starts by doing a ritual. Estás bien? Estás bien? Acá conmigo. Estás bien? No la volteas a ver a ella, acá conmigo. ¿Estás bien? ¿Quién eres? And then the ritual intensifies. ¿Quién eres? No, acá, conmigo. Aquí conmigo. ¿Quién eres? 
acá conmigo, respira, respira, estás acá conmigo, estás en tu... The victim is then released from the ropes. Voy a romper tus ataduras, voy, voy a romper lo que no permite que tú puedas seguir adelante. No, te voy a cor cortar las ataduras, te voy a liberar, respira, te voy a liberar. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop the possessed lady's head. She becomes weaker. And it truly looks like something is possessing her. Tranquila. Whatever is haunting her is hurting her. This pair is connected somehow. Tranquila. Tranquila. Respire. 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 The woman tries to catch her breath calmly. Respire. No que. A ver, a ver, a ver. Acá, arriba conmigo. Aquí. Respire. Respire. Inhale y exhale. Despacito. Inhale y exhale. And then they both appear to be released from the spell. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Aide. ¿Cómo estás? Regresa, 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 muñeca, regresa, 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 Aide. I find this whole ritual intriguing. Not only are the steps involved interesting, but it seems to have worked. But will it last? I guess only time will tell. Sometimes paranormal explorations turn up horrific discoveries. YouTuber Mo Sarji uncovered several in this abandoned hospital. While walking through the hospital's hallways, he comes across defunct tech and discarded medical supplies. The younger people that watch my videos, which is a small percentage, um, yeah, this is what we would watch and open up applications and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, ew, we got blood covered gloves over here this is disgusting this room looks like it's been staged by someone before mo we got blood everywhere holy sh jeez okay this is i don't want to be in this room that's gross on the wall in red is the word leave then in the next room is that a body bag oh <gasps> no that's not a body bag i thought that was a body bag for a sec jesus christ no that's just a mattress it's so strange though it's got like these pipes coming down from it he breaks out the uv light to check out the fluids on this hospital bed so, as you guys can see i do have my uv light over here and this is all blood holy sh this is literally there's blood everywhere in this room man this is unbelievable i, I did not expect this i don't know why there's so much blood here but look at it look at how it illuminates while we can't be sure that this is that red liquid of life, this place is by far one of the creepiest abandoned places I've ever seen. This one's a head scratcher. TikToker ElkaKoi.tv shares this mysterious video that's a total nightmare. Watch around the side of the door. At first, it looks to me like a ghost peeking out sideways at the guy, but TikTokers are floating other theories as to what the heck that was. Bruh. 
Bro, what was that? Well, I think Cap like Caleb could be right that it was this mirror. It's the reflection in the mirror that's throwing people off. That could be anything, but to me it looks like someone covering their abnormally large face with their hands. What do you think it is? The team from Casa Sobre Natural is visiting a house with a malignant demon in this scary clip. At first, they think they see something. É muito assustador, velho. Ah, vai se lascar. Vocês escutaram? Que der? Por Deus, você mexeu aquela cadeira, cara. Que que mexeu? Mexeu o que mexeu, cara? Mexeu o que der? Mexeu a cadeira, por Deus, você lascou. Você não viu, Sofia? Eu vi, cara, eu escutei. And then that something makes its presence known. Por Deus, você mexeu, cara. Não, Dorothy, você tava vendo alguma coisa aqui. When they dare to enter, things get more aggressive. What is inside? They think it's over, but the demon has one last scare in store for them. In my opinion, there is something truly evil in this house. You can just feel it. According to Mindseed TV, they almost cancelled their show after the experience they had in this house. The homeowners told the crew that an evil presence was residing on the property. Let's see just how evil it is. Well, inside the home, the crew finds the front door open. Oh, bro. Come on, dude. What? We noticed it. As they continue their exploration, this happens. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, sh Something broke and the chair just moved. Here it is again, slowed down. One of the crew reports of other activity in the home. The sink was full of maggots when there was noises and whispers happening within the house. If that wasn't scary enough, this happens. I just heard a boom noise. One of their devices seems to be acting up. What is happening there? There's been and then the roaches come out to play. And this whole, look, there's another one. Look, 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 see that? See? Let's get out of here. Alright, yeah. You wanna, you wanna yeah, no. take a test in the barn? Then in the barn, things get louder. And even louder from there. They then make the mistake of messing with a Ouija board. Watch closely in the darkness. That is terrifying. I think the Mindseed crew is absolutely right to be afraid. This one left me shook. For more creepy videos like this, be sure to check out Mindseed's channel. Is this a witch mimicking a baby's cry? Shared by Instagram accounts Paranoid Normal and Unanswered Universe. Listen closely. <laughs> No, no, pero, 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 pero,
Hey, no, 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 no. Come on, you're right there. No, huh? You can hear a baby wailing, and it seems to be coming from this nearby bush. The bush shakes as the group watches tentatively, and then this happens. What is that thing? It doesn't look like any animal I've ever seen. As the group flees the scene, you can hear another bush shaking, and you can hear the baby's wail again. Is this a witch or a shapeshifter luring them in to take their souls? I do think it's some paranormal creature mimicking a baby's cries, but for what purpose? I'm not so sure. The Wardrobe Ritual is one of the paranormal world's most dangerous games. YouTubers PIT Paranormal Investigation Team complete the ritual, which turns up more than they expected. <laughs> Something grabs Debbie, and it isn't human. What was that? A human-like hand appears for a moment to grab Debbie's shoulder, but no one is behind her. I do believe the ritual was successful. They summoned a demon. Now the question is, how do you send it back? Well, in search of the ghost of the headless man, YouTube team KBC Casadores de Fantasmas encounters some unexplained activity. As they're touring the haunted area, they hear strange sounds. Later, while communicating through the spirit box, they see the gate close on its own. <laughs> then, down by the water, they spot something unusual on the opposite bank. Here it is again. What made an appearance on the riverbank? Was it the same entity that opened the gate? I can't be sure, but I am impressed by what the team has captured here. I think it calls for further investigation. Things get scary on the open road. This is yet another case of a driver gone a little too ragey. The video is self-explanatory. The Mercedes driver gets out of his car, carrying a metal pole, but the driver is on his toes. Putting pedal to the metal, he speeds off-road and leaves the would-be assailant in the dust. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what little driving infraction happened in the lead-up to this scary incident, no one should spring from their vehicle with a metal pole with the intent of getting revenge. Would you have the courage to enter a home in which a horrific event took place? That's how the police described this poor lady's passing, published in January of 2022. The Ouija brothers head inside one of England's most haunted abandoned homes, in which a woman is said to have had her life taken, using a device to speak with the spirit. The guys ask what her name is. Her answer gives me chills. Could you tell us your name? Lad. 
Blood. Blood. Blood then. It's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? Remember that, I like that lady. Yes, blood. Um, <laughs> then as a cameraman is backing out of a room, they capture a strange hissing noise. Oh, yeah. oh, oh f I'm, I ain't going in there, man, because that'll make me ill for days. <gasps> Later, they're in another room when out the door, they see a light, it starts getting brighter, and then they hear something clatter. Look, 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 look my can you see I'm getting brighter? It is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f I'll my head, hold on. Is this the ghost of the woman whose life was taken in this home? Or as Suze suggests in the comments, did the events of this poor lady's life imprint on the house? A supposed mermaid was captured sunning itself on the rocks beside this murky lake. Posted to TikTok, you may want to avoid the water after seeing this clip. Did you notice that there are two of them? You can see the other one's head peek up. Will some in the comments say this is a real mermaid? And mermaids, in fact, look scary like this. I'm not so sure about this video's authenticity. I did some digging online, and it turns out the video's original source is YouTube channel, JJPD Productiones, which specializes in CGI. Whether you choose to believe this is real or fake, it is definitely an impressive reimagination. If you happen upon a site where a sacrificial ritual was performed, run far, far away. YouTube channel, Si Investiga Casadores de Lendas, was exploring this abandoned place. When they came across just such a sight, they enter a room with lifeless animals and a pentagram on the wall. On the ground is a ponytail of hair and candles. There is a burnt animal skull on the wall. Foi da última vez também que ele apareceu de ponta cabeça aqui na parede. E as they're in this creepy room, they hear a noise. Soon their flashlights start to go haywire, and when the light turns back on, a demon has taken hold of one of them. Minha lanterna quer acender também. Nossa, okay. Olha aqui. Meu Deus! Que que é isso, Adriano? Que que é isso, cara? Que que é essa, velho? Pelo amor de Deus! Later, they return to the room and see this. While it's not clear to me what this demon clown is or what the creature in black wanted from them, one thing is clear, they shouldn't be here. While visiting Old Smoky Mountain Cemetery, YouTube crew the G-Team Paranormal are quickly met with paranormal activity. Straight away, they get a reading on their paranormal device. Right there. Wow. This is incredible. And that reading becomes more distinct. Look. Yep. Oh, that's yep. him. Mm -hmm. You see him? I see them. Almost looks like a third person. The spirit seemed to be congregating next to their headstones. Someone's standing next to the headstone. Right next to the headstone, it's yes. Leaning on it or something. Although the camera doesn't pick it up clearly, the ladies hear footsteps approaching. She hears footsteps crunching. I hope it ain't a bear coming. Oh, I did. Then, while in their vehicle, the car's reverse sensor is triggered, but there's no one behind them. What? What the hell? I don't know. What is going on? It's sensing something behind us. What the hell? I don't know. There's a mysterious whisper in the darkness here, though. And before they know it, they've picked up a hitchhiking spirit. Made me want to come here. And... Oh, sh why did all my sh just fall? My sh up here on my visor just kind of flew down. What the hell?
Patty even seems to spot one on the road. Oh. Whoa, I'm not even gonna back up. What? There was somebody standing back there in a white shirt. I'm not even kidding you. Unless I'm, I can't, I'm not gonna back up, guys. I, I can't. I didn't see anything, but something strange is definitely going on here. Whether a spirit has attached or not is anyone's guess. Even ghosts need their emotional support dolls. Published by Top 5 Ghost in January of 2022, and originally published by content creator Chamos, this scary video is trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The video follows the Brazilian ghost hunting team as they explore a haunted house. They hear a sound. It sounds like the cry of an animal. The crew creeps around the house looking for its source. They turn a corner to yet another empty bedroom, but the bedroom behind them isn't empty. Turning around, they see this. A stiff figure wearing white with long dark hair is perched in a crib. She appears to be holding a doll whose legs dangle at her side. The door to the bedroom immediately slams shut as the entire crew has a meltdown. <gasps> They run off and don't look back. Did this ghost girl follow? Or maybe just her doll did? Either way, they made the right call getting out of that place ASAP. Ghost hunting YouTuber D Dog Michael finds what he's looking for in this terrifying video. As he explores this abandoned place, the sounds are undeniable. <laughs> He hears another noise, like murmuring. He then hears a snapping noise, like something walking, and for a moment he thinks he sees something. Then there's a jingling right next to him. A series of unexplained events happen. Later in that same room, more mysterious things unfold. It almost sounds like he's choking. Things get darker from there. Michael hears something, and then he sees it. Here it is again. There's definitely a shadow moving in the darkness. Is it a person or a spirit? My vote is for the latter, because I don't think I've ever seen a creepier house. Do you take this ghost bride to be your lawfully wedded wife? I don't. Published by Thiago Ferracao in April of 2022, this ghost hunter encountered a phantom bride that was forcibly married to her husband in this haunted church. This is what happened. As they first enter the church, an unseen force slams the door shut and moves a wooden bench with great force, and then the fun begins. Oh, 
The bride is first seen as they are attempting to communicate with her using a spirit box. Watch the door carefully in the background. A pale figure passes slowly. The pair don't notice it. Qual era o seu nome? Later, as they're told to leave, they see the figure face to face. Once they're standing outside the church, the figure is seen standing at the altar. As Thiago walks toward the church doors, they're slammed shut in his face. After watching this scary video, would you say I do? Let me know in the comments. This woman found her toy doll in a disturbing state, so she contacted YouTuber Luan Mendez to help her. Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After these guys come to take a look, they find the cellar. They hear something banging on the lid. So they climb in to investigate. Cuidado. The doll of horror is inside, but after stepping away from the horror doll for a minute, this happens. It disappears. Where did the doll go? Was it possessed by something? Or did some slick soul do this to her? I have a theory. I think the doll was being used as a voodoo doll. That still doesn't explain where it disappeared to. But have no fear. The horror doll always returns. Luan. Well, yeah. Although you and I were probably not hoping for an encore for this one. Now this may sound far-fetched, but this TikTok will leave you terrified. Shared by TikTok Paranormal and originally posted by Um Sam, I guess. This young woman was scaring her sister when she, herself, was scared by a shadow. But not just any shadow. Hey, let's go get my sister. Watch for the shadow person here. What are you doing? <laughs> Got you, me. Good. Go, 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 go. Did you see it? Oh my god, Danny, 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 Danny. Literally, someone just ran in here, I think. Huh? Someone just ran in your room. Is it an intruder or a paranormal figure? I can't tell for sure, but if this video hasn't made you pee your pants, I don't know what will. In this scary video, Exploring with Josh explores the historic RRS Discovery, one of the most haunted ships in Britain. The team invites the spirits to speak, and they do in their own way. You can talk to us here now. That is creepy. I swear to God, there's someone walking around in there. Just like a shadow, bro. Bro, put the light on it. Well, that is the no, most. No, put the light on it. 
Well, that is the most There's something room. inside there, I'm telling you now. Oh my God. What? Said, yeah, I saw a shadow playing as there. I believe you. They continue to communicate with this spirit. That device, could you please walk out of your room so we know you're gone? Oh my God. Oh, you oh my God. That's crazy. Oh my God. You can't <laughs> that up. When they go and collect a recording device from that room, they hear the spirit's response to some of their questions. It is the crew. It is the crew. It is the crew. It is the crew. You can't your ass. As the presence intensifies, they hear footsteps. And you got it? And now, yeah. And that was after I heard the bed moving, bro. I'm telling you, there's somebody in this room with me. Right, we're going back towards your room, Captain. Can you set something off while we're all stuck together? That's No, it's not. It's not me. I'm right here. Where did it come from? I have no idea. I don't know. It's like a dash run. That went through there. Was that the captain again? With all of this paranormal evidence, I have to believe that the RRS Discovery still carries an immortal crew, but they are probably as cold as Antarctica. This solo ghost hunt turned up some mysterious proofs. Published by Make You Right in February of 2022, the Ghost Hunter scary video has the trifecta, mist orbs, and voices. While walking along a dirt path at night in the forest, a strange mist moves in. It's the unusual shape and movement of the mist that makes it so eerie, like a spirit is swooping in. A round orb seems to be flying below it in tandem. The YouTuber says he didn't see it at the time he was filming. I didn't see that at the time on the camera at all. But it does go by fast. The a second video filmed on the same night appears to have captured a disembodied voice. The voice murmurs and this time the YouTuber hears it in the moment. It does not sound like his voice, so whose is it? What do you make of this pair of videos? Looks like a successful ghost hunt requiring further investigation. After setting up a camera in her home, YouTuber Kathy Nito turns out the light, and what comes after just might be a ghost. Watch for the white thing once Kathy is distracted. Do you see that? Kathy believes this is a ghost. Well, I don't think it's a bug, as it appears to be too large and chaotic to be an insect. I'm not sure if my first thought would jump to the paranormal. It looks more like a spider web or some other flying debris to me. Still, whatever it is, it's creepy. Do you have any ideas as to what this could be? YouTuber Amy's Crypt visits the haunted Ferrar Elementary School in this creepy video. Upon entering, they're warned by the spirits. They're told very clearly what hides behind a locked door. Can you tell us what is behind this door? It looks like there's a man in the tunnel, Joe. I wonder who Bill is, and why is this door locked? After receiving this message through the spirit box, For us. Pot. Did it say pot? Pot. How come it didn't say it out loud? It did say it out loud. Oh. I've heard people talk about little kids haunting here. They find the message again spelled out for them. <gasps> pot. Oh, that is crazy. As they continue their exploration, they hear movement. Celeste here. In another room, they hear tapping. <gasps> okay. And then, as they enter the bathroom... Later, while speaking through the spirit box, they receive this message... Okay. I, don't, I don't know if I heard my name, but the bathrooms are down there. 
Can you tell us about the bathrooms? Did something happen in the school's bathroom? I feel like the spirits are really trying to tell Amy and Jared into their story. The clues are there, but putting them together is the hard part. Once you've investigated enough haunted places, you're bound to encounter a shadow figure or two. YouTuber Dennis from Dark Life faces off with one in this haunted house. Did you see it? There's definitely something there, but it's not there for long. After it crosses the room, it vanishes completely. I think this demon won't reveal its full nature. At this point, he is but a shadow. Two university students were filming in a haunted location, and something bizarre happens. YouTube channel Fourth Wall, whose channel you should check out and has English subtitles, shares this problematic part of their last video. Let's look for clues. The two tapes from their cameras each held about 20 minutes of footage. This is what camera A captured. While they're chatting, the operator of camera B, Kama Chan, disappears. Shortly after, camera A shuts off. Next, let's look at what camera B captured. This is where camera B ends. What happened at this haunted place? Some in the comments suggest that this site might connect to a dimension in another world. I personally think that the real Kamachan was taken and replaced by a fake Kamachan. What do you think happened here? This miniature forest figure has viewers puzzled. Posted on TikTok by Satpam Horror, a small Barbie-sized creature was captured walking at the edge of the forest. Watch closely. The figure looks just like a human in miniature. What is it though? I'm not sure what this humanoid creature could be, but its movements do not look animated, and it seems to blend well with the setting. Any ideas? Leave them in the comment. At the Devil's Gate Dam, Kelsey Davies and her crew communicated with the ghost of a twisted individual who took many lives. As soon as they set up their devices, they start to get a reading. Then shortly after, they come into contact with Val. Are you here with us? Can you cross the dowsing rods if you're here? <laughs> they ask if she's near. Later, they come across a lot of strange debris. Is that a wallet? What? What is all this? Someone's backpack? They're calm? Oh no, this is a lunchbox. Does this stuff belong to those who lost their lives at the hands of Val? They return late at night and confirm Val's presence. Val, is that you? and they are given a warning. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right, it says leave. You said leave. Oh my God. 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 Oh
said welcome to that flashed and it said leave Joey. I have the chill. I may be old school, but if the ghost of a life taker tells you to leave, I really think you should listen. This quick EVP is a direct message from the beyond. Have you guys done a lot of investigations? Um. Have you guys done a lot of investigations? Um. I'm sure you'll hear it. There's a crystal clear male voice whispering, go away. No one in the room seems to notice it. I don't think there's much room for interpretation here. The spirit gave us an order, so we should probably listen. This seems like his one warning. Have you guys done a lot of Um. YouTube team Extinct File explores an abandoned mansion where they're tormented by ghost children. Inside the dark and dreary place, they find this unsettling picnic. Madres, güey. Comida. They turn toward another room and a moment later see this. After a while, they hear some barking in the distance and then something much closer. Todo esto es de mármol, güey. As they head upstairs to investigate, this happens. Later, they try to communicate with the ghost children. Que se quiera comunicar con nosotros. This is what they saw. Hijo de la... Did you see it too? I'm pretty certain that was a ghost child, and if it was, the crew had better watch their backs. Sometimes ghosts are just forewarning you about what's around the corner. YouTuber Paranormal Voyages shares this freaky short in which he's speaking to a spirit through a spirit box. I just seen a shadow. Was that you? The spirit literally tells him the bat's in, and a moment later, well, the bat's in. It feels pretty hard to be a skeptic after that series of events. YouTube channel KBC Cazadores de Fantasmas investigated the site of a reported unidentified flying object landing. They come across a burning ember. Was someone recently here? Shortly after, they see something watching them. They quickly grow frightened. They find nothing there, but as they're about to call it a day, they hear something again.
and then they leave us to guess what's next. I think they were being stalked, but I don't think their stalker was human. We'll have to tune in to the next episode to find out. This was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Skateboard Chris. The Redditor wrote, I accidentally deleted the raw video and not the TikTok that automatically saved. But this is the second time I've caught a light switch turning off and on by itself. My dog reacts too. And when the video zooms in, it does appear that the light switches turn on and off of their own accord. Hawaii Sunburnt 20 commented, I would be taking apart that light switch. Would you be curious enough to do the same? I'd be getting far away from this haunted house. This doll looks innocent enough, but is it? Molly, also known as Akka, is pure evil. Here is proof. The conversation starts out simple. One of the objects I've put near your vessel. Thank you. Thank you, Molly. When the paranormal investigator presses further, she receives a confirmation. Molly, can you just confirm that this is you? Yeah. She also reveals her true feelings. Are you negative and grumpy? No. Are you misunderstood? Thank you. And then the question we'd really like to know the answer to... Do you wish to harm anyone in this house? Yes. But Molly doesn't just want to harm anyone. She's got a specific person in mind. Do you wish to harm my son, Sam? Yes. It's probably time to take your son, Sam, and get out of Dodge. An unidentified aerial phenomena, also known as a UAP, was captured at Dreamland in Dripping Springs, Texas, and shared by Redditor MyBrian on Acid. Recording the alien spaceship? Yeah, me too. It's like not moving at all. The uploader says another source reported on this same sighting. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away. It's not moving at all. The post the Redditor is referring to was captured by someone walking their dog who believed the UAP to be a planet, but once they looked at it through their binoculars, they noticed a dark center and a haze around the object. In the comments, Redditor Cronin Siglos appeared to crack the code, writing that it's a high-altitude balloon called an HBAL-604. After seeing one of these, I have to agree. And it's like way higher than the planes that just flew by. It's like further away, it's not moving at all. YouTuber Paranormal Mai believes they've encountered a child genie. Let's see what that even looks like. First, a childlike muttering is heard, almost like laughter. He follows it. The voice continues and the yet unseen child seems to be playing with the lights. Yeah. As the child's voice grows nearer, get ready. <laughs> 
Although we never see its face, we see its power. <laughs> Is this really a child genie? What are the extent of its powers? I'm not quite sure, but I wouldn't stand by to find out. Redditor HD Gun posted this footage to the ghost subreddit. The video shows a semi-transparent figure rush past. The figure is short in stature and appears to enter from behind some plants near the home's fence. Of course, Redditors have some theories. Well, I'm not sure that I agree it's a parrot. I do think it's an animal. You can see there's a blur, smudge, or lens flare on the lower portion of the camera, which is probably why the figure looked blurred. But to me, the figure looks like it's walking, not flying. While it could very well be paranormal, the way it's moving looks like how a monkey walks to me. So I'm thinking now there's a possibility it's a wild animal, but why would it look like this on camera? Filmed on Friday, April 13th, 2007, this footage will give you a nightmare on Elm Street, published in April of 2007, at um, right, I set the camera up overnight, and this is what my dog has been barking at all these weeks. The video was filmed in the dark kitchen of the uploader's home. After a moment, you can see Adam's dog on high alert. What he is guarding against is made clear after a second. It looks like the blinds on the door have opened and a light is turned on outside. The dog whimpers, and then the blinds slowly start rolling up. When they're about a third of the way up, they flick shut again. The dog is clearly concerned and stays there, guarding the door. What do you think is going on here? YouTuber269 calls this video authentic, writing in the comments, At first I thought that maybe someone was hiding to the right in the dark, but I believe that your dog, unless trained by some military or authoritative entity, would have fouled the whole making of this video by running toward the hidden person and trying to play. Very interesting how the dog was focused on that single spot. What is he staring at? I sadly think we'll never know. When the paranormal team Casadores de Sombras went to investigate this ritual site, what they found was a living nightmare. As they approach the site, they find what appears to be a body levitating high above a fire pit. <laughs> They later hear something in the surrounding woods. Now, back in the safety of their vehicle, they're left to ponder what their eyes saw. Without context, it's difficult to know what's going on here. Is this person being levitated by some dark magic? And for what purpose? I can't provide any insight on this one, but I do know that I'm super creeped out by the events here. YouTube team Rota X Investigaso Paranormal explores this haunting place where something horrible happens. As they walk in, they sense there's someone there. As he introduces himself, it sounds like someone runs off into the darkness. They get back to their investigation, addressing the spirits.
É, boa noite. A presença que está aqui é da alguém que partiu, que estava aqui na tragédia? In one dark and scary room, their device goes off. Por isso a equipe Rota X pede licença para estar entrando aqui. And a second time. Tá, obrigado pela sua resposta, tá bom? And then a third time. Tá, alguém faleceu aqui, né? E você poderia me dizer? While the readings are interesting, I'm more intrigued by the person they sensed in the building who seemed to escape. If you plan to ghost hunt in a haunted forest, prepare to meet your doom. YouTuber Kelsey Davies and her crew encountered several paranormal events in their forest ghost hunt. First, she hears a woman's voice. I just heard a woman humming. That sounds more like a shout than a hum to me. Apparently, Kelsey saw her too. She was crouched down by the creek, humming, with no shoes on. As they approach the creek in question, Susie feels like she was pushed. You guys don't push me. I didn't. What? What? Someone pushed you? Stop. So Alexa. where's the I swear. Don't push me. I it was him. He's staying right here. <laughs> Did someone push Did Susie? Push you? Don't push me. When asked if somebody tried to push Susie into the water, the spirits have an answer for Kelsey. I heard yes, and then it said we are coming. Are you guys coming? While they continue to speak through the spirit box, one of them hears the name Susie. Why? I heard Susie. I swear oh my to God, I heard really? Susie. <gasps> oh, I said, yep. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> It seems this spirit is out to get Susie. Right behind you, whoever. I can't even speak right now. Oh, that's it, I'm here. Yeah. That's it, I'm it here. It literally said I'm here. That's it, I'm the spirits repeat their intentions. <laughs> what the? Oh, I'm coming. What? That was, we're all coming. That, was a, that literally that was like said, we're all coming. Voice, though. That was not like a regular no, voice. That no. was like a demonic voice. That was really bad. And their thirst for Susie doesn't end there. Oh my god! Susie! Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I heard that's my second time. Why do they want me so bad? I think this is a valid question. Why are the spirits coming after Susie? And did the ghost woman by the creek try and push Susie into the water? If I were her, I'd take this as a sign to get the heck out of there. Do you want to play a game? Post it to the ghost subreddit by responsible at 8836. This guard in Mexico often hears noises at night while on watch. He recorded this one while on patrol. While walking the grounds at night, he heads around the building when what looks like a man's head pops out from around the corner. The guard chases it around the corner, but there's nothing there. The Redditor also posted a frame-by-frame -frame video to better see the figure. Many in the comments are clearly surprised. Some point out there are no feet, while others suggest it's a grey extraterrestrial. Still others say it looks like it's playing a game. Do you want to play? I suggest that guard heads back in the other direction. TikToker KC Rav is not home alone. The security footage captured something super creepy near the stairway leading upstairs. Watch the dark corner. A large figure appears to peek out from beneath in the darkness. From the TikToker's description of the video, it sounds like the dark corner is another stairway leading down to another level of the home. Let's take a closer look. What is that? It definitely looks like a person to me. 
Another mysterious aspect of this video is the movement in the reflection to the left. I'm not sure if that's glass or a mirror, but something is moving and flickering past and then disappears. Are these two mysteries related? Whatever is going on here, if that isn't a ghost, it's an intruder. Either way, I think she should leave. Does this internet cafe have some unwanted customers? Redditor Juice173 thinks it does. He explains that he works in pest control, and this internet cafe was one of his clients. After seeing this footage, the owner insisted that he still has rats. Here is the surveillance video. Here's a clip from another angle. It's strange to me that something falls off of the shelf or is pushed right before the entire thing breaks. I would say it's just a matter of shoddy workmanship rather than something paranormal if it wasn't for that. But this makes me think that there's something more complex going on here, and I see no rats. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Buddy and Rascal, this two-part submission starts with a photo. The Redditor wrote, Caught this face while me and my mom were putting the boards on our basement windows. Our house was built in 1901. This image got a ton of upvotes with commenters praising its realness and asking for more evidence. The Redditor then posted a video writing, Here is a video of our basement. I personally don't see anything, but if you guys do, please let me know. In the comments, WranglerGreedy2976 thought they saw movement in the crawl space at the 16 second mark. Um, so you walk down here and the first thing you're greeted by is our uh, crawl space. I don't know what light to turn on so you can see it better. But that's our crawl space and then um, this is the window that the face was in. I don't like this window, but uh, <laughs> the crawl space isn't much better. There isn't, oh, I did not, there isn't very good vibes back here. Do you see what this commenter is talking about? Nevertheless, let's hope Buddy and Rascal are able to capture more paranormal evidence in this home. Don't look behind you. This scary video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After witnessing something terrifying, this man flees to his car, but that something is there waiting for him. <laughs> the creepy video, originally posted to TikTok by Elkakoi.tv, also reveals what initially scared the man. But as we already know how it ends, the man clearly has nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. If I were him, I'd be getting the heck out of that house ASAP. The G-Team visited downtown Savannah, Georgia at night in this paranormal investigation. The first spirits they meet seem to be super friendly. In the streets around here. Hi. Did it just say hi? It said hi. Oh. They begin to feel a presence around them. Okay, so when I was over there a few minutes ago, I thought I somebody walked up behind me. And I looked around, there was nobody there, and you were way over that way. Peering into the Davenport house, the lady's spidey senses start to tingle. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. So this is the Davenport house. Then as they're standing outside more historic buildings, they hear this mysterious noise. I was looking up there, but I felt like something was up there. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? I did. And even creepier, they see what appears to be a shadow entity.
In the end, the G team is feeling such creepy vibes that they call it a day. Get this sketched out. No. Very easily. I'm usually the one getting the sketched out feelings, but she's got it really bad. I'm like, usually, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's get in there. <laughs> Would you keep up the search? Me neither. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this ghost hunter captured something startling after sitting in the devil's chair, which is an urban legend that is likely dated back to ancient folklore. It's a statue of a chair or bench found in graveyards. Let's watch his submission. Wasn't even planning on stopping by until I seen that it was really close to us. So I figured I'd stop and uh, check it out. Yeah, they said that, you know, he sat in this chair. I can clearly hear a sad moan. Is something in this graveyard upset with his choice to sit in the devil's chair? I think he should leave before things escalate. Paranormal investigators Mindseed TV get schooled by the spirits while exploring this haunted elementary school. They enter into what can only be described as a spooky atmosphere. <laughs> was that? Yeah, exactly what that was. That's a wolf, huh? Gotta be. Yeah, that's one <laughs> way to start the night. As they walk around, the spookiness increases. Hey, whoa. Hey. Seen that? Hello? Hello? No f***ing way. While they're examining the door, something appears in the floor grate below. Watch closely. Right away. Yeah. What was that? While the crew is downstairs, a static camera they left in the living room picks this up. First, the horse toy moves around oddly on its own, and then a shadow figure appears to move away from it. Here it is again. What now occupies this haunted school? Well, I'm prone to thinking it's the former students. I'm sure there are other theories as well. What do you think is going on here? For more creepy videos like this one, be sure to check out Mindseed TV's channel. This video is short and sweet and will leave you frozen in fear. Shared by Twitter user, Casos Paranormales. No context has been shared. So, let's just watch. Here's what I can collect is happening here. First off, the garbage scattered around the room is oddly unsettling. But this takes the cake. I'm not sure what's exactly happening in this video, but I do want to yeet it to the sun. This pair of videos will send you running. Posted to TikTok by Jen Barari, something is stalking around outside Jen's home in this first clip. Holy sh! Did you guys hear that? That was crazy. What made these noises? Yo, I swear to God, that wasn't me. The first whisper sounds like help to me. That was crazy. <gasps> but I'm not sure what the other noises are. Jen's second video is even freakier. Upon returning home in the night, she sees this.
but a security camera captures something else. Many in the comments are freaked out that this spirit is mimicking her. It looks very much like Jen, same length of hair and everything. It even kind of sounds like her in the first video. So is this spirit preparing itself to become her? I for one think so. Both clips are super suspect. While exploring deep inside the Cave of Mounds, YouTuber Near Shadow starts to hear whispers. Listen closely. Hello? Later, you can definitely hear a child's voice in this larger cavern. Yeah, it looks like it's like gonna fall. Look. It does. This is cool. Yeah, there's so much moisture that you like you don't know like look how wet that is and then you can't. The team doesn't appear to hear this in the moment. To me, the voice sounds a lot louder than the earlier whispers. Is there a child spirit trapped in the cave of mounds? I think it's time to send in the cave divers. This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullian Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. <laughs> The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So, yan yan. It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark, but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? While exploring the fairy plantation in Virginia, Disturbing paranormal evidence was captured by Redditor WTCW Paranormal, who runs a YouTube channel of the same name. First, the team captured some audio evidence using a paranormal device. Where are you from? Oh. It sounds like there's evil present. Then, as they continue exploring, audible footsteps are heard. Later, when they're using dousing rods to communicate with the spirits, something off-screen communicates louder. <laughs> to me, the noises add credence to the first message the guys received. They are in the fiery depths below, and they may just be trapped there. While investigating the decaying palace of the kingdom, this cameraman captured something unnerving. YouTube channel Fourth Wall shares this scary video of the abandoned place. A small window of the palace is barred for unknown reasons. The cameraman leaves his camera inside because no one was there, but then it moves. And look closely, something peeks from the doorway. It looks like a shadow figure. I wouldn't doubt that this place is haunted.
I believe that the shadow we saw was one of their spirits. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel Fourth Wall for more. All of their videos have English subtitles. While this doesn't look like your classic unidentified flying object, it certainly is one. Published by Arte Morbid in April of 2022, this scary video captured something hovering over a street in Mexico City. Security camera footage shows a dark object floating down the center of the street about a foot above the pavement. While the uploader thought it was a Mylar balloon at first, a closer look had him second-guessing. He notes that it has a shadow and sometimes moves in a slight rotation. Some of the comments still think it's a Mylar balloon or a drone. Others think it's CGI. One commenter says it looks like it's morphing in and out. Do you have any other theories? I think there's certainly something mysterious going on here. Would you get on a small wooden boat in a murky pond full of alligators? YouTube channel The Omar Gosh Vlogs dives right in in this scary video. <laughs> Can you see the gator in the water, drifting toward them? You might think these folks landed in gator territory by accident, but it looks like this is actually something people paid to do. The gators look like they could chomp them at any moment. In fact, the group is sandwiched in between them. Look at these guys here. They're so crazy to get followed by an alligator. Break it in half, George. What do you think? Would you pay money to be gator bait? Me neither. Warning, if you summon La Llorona, prepare for the worst. While investigating the Hinsdale house, YouTuber Mo Sarji summoned the weeping woman, and he lived to regret it. While speaking through a spirit box, he received some answers. Was there actually an exorcism here? <gasps> oh my God, that was a yes. And like an evil, like it was mad. But the interview is cut short. Was it a priest? <laughs> behind you, behind you! What? Behind you? Something just f***ing appeared behind you! Something just f***ing appeared behind you! What? Like a f***ing mist! Like a oh white my mist. god! Holy f***! I don't blame him. I'd be done too if I'd just seen La Llorona in the flash. What's in the sky over Medellin, Colombia? Lorna Mascura shares this video of a dark unknown object aloft in the clouds. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm in 4K mode now. Like the iPhone, I'm filming on iPhone 13 Pro. I need to zoom more. Guys, what the f*** is that? The object is far away and it's hard to make out any details from this clip, but it appears dark and doesn't look like it's moving. He captures the surroundings and returns to the unidentified flying object. Honestly, I'm still... Is it the weather balloon, right? Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. This time it looks like a square or cube. A moment later, a plane passes at a distance. Like, look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right, to the right. What is that? The object remains still in the sky for nearly three minutes of the clip. Everyone in the comments is completely perplexed by this video, as am I. I have no clue what it could be. It does not look like a weather balloon at all, and I have no other theories considering it doesn't move. Share your ideas in the comments. Lainey and Ben's notorious poltergeist is at it again. Published in February of 2022, this short clip shows yet another paranormal experience in their haunted home. In the video, a small picture frame falls from a shelf onto the couch below. Then a cat toy is shoved abruptly over. The action is caught on a security camera set up in the room. Upon finding stuff moved, Ben takes viewers through the room using a Kinect app. The figure of a person momentarily appears on the couch right where the frame has fallen. First it appears sitting, then it looks like it's laying down. 
Is the demon right in front of him? And what will he do next? While investigating the Misfa Hotel in Nevada, Amy's crypt encountered some paranormal activity from the infamous Lady in Red. Amy leads us to her room, where they'll be staying for the evening. I am going to call the elevator. We're only going up one floor, but I wanted to bring you guys in this thing because it is super, super old. And there has been people to have paranormal experiences in here, namely men. So the woman who wants this hotel. A still camera in the room captures this subtle female voice. While exploring the hallways of the hotel, they hear another unexplained sound. What was that? Is that a light or the frame? Something just clicked. I did say make a noise for us and then a noise. Was it up here? Yeah, I feel like it was that light. They continue exploring while using the ghost tube app and a spirit has a question for them. So why did you come? Right. And we're literally about to enter the fifth floor, the most haunted floor. And the pressure is on. Leave here. Okay, we're gonna go to our room. When they enter the red lady room, they hear what sounds like a woman's voice again. Weird. You hear that? Here it is from the inside. Is the red lady waiting for them here? I'm sure she is, and they've had plenty of warnings to leave, so when things go bottom up, I guess it's time to get out ASAP. What is this being lurking in the forest? YouTuber Fish on Fish Out returned to his favorite fishing spot with the boys when he spotted this. What was that? I'm not sure what that is. Could it be pareidolia? Maybe. But I think it's a demon lurking. Angry that they took his favorite fishing hole. What is this toy doing in the center of this haunted building? You're about to find out. Originally posted to TikTok by Texas Ghost Hunters. This clip has me terrified. The ghost hunters are hearing noises all around them. <laughs> Now watch the toy at the center of the hallway. As the toy rolls toward them repeatedly, they start to panic, but when they are brave enough to get closer, they see that nothing is attached. I'm not sure how this toy would have moved other than by the hands of a malevolent spirit. I personally think this place is 100% haunted. Do you? This creepy video takes viewers on an adventure around the world through Google Earth. And what we discover is not of this world. Published by Kanon Mujik, the journey begins with a zoom toward Japan. Landing on the streets of an unknown city, Google Earth pans skyward between two buildings and spies this thing floating above. It looks like a squid or octopus. The dark figure's details are difficult to make out, but it has two thin limbs, a short abdomen, and a football-shaped head. What is this thing? Is it an extraterrestrial? Is it some creepy kite? Or is it the ocean in the sky? Laney and Ben's haunted house has turned up the intensity in recent months. Now things are levitating. Watch the lamp to the left. <laughs> uh. 
A little later, a cutlery drawer opens and closes in the kitchen. Then the tap turns on. You can hear the water running. It turns off and back on again. Shortly after, a strange unexplained sound is heard. This is followed by some more strange noise, which sounds to me like a garbage disposal. Although all of the activity frightens me, the levitation in the beginning has me really hooked. It also has plenty of people really scared. Stay tuned for more fear. Who's hiding behind this mirror? This short clip posted by TikToker, Sion Wick prompts that question. Watch it snap this Pokemon card up. The TikToker writes, we're waiting for it to trade us back. In the comments, Reed Hart points out the black fingers at the mirror's edge at the beginning of the clip. Take another look. They look more like spider legs than fingers to me. But if that's the case, this guy's got a mad strong spider on his hands. This house is most haunted. YouTuber Sandro Silva CS investigates the creepy place in this scary video. When they arrive at the house, they're immediately frightened. But what scared them? Inside, they find no one. But then they hear a noise. And that's not the end of it. Was there a spirit in the room with them? Or just a trapped animal? I think the sound is more spirited than scared. In fact, it seems to me like it's wanting to scare us. If you're going to cage a phantom, you're going to need a bigger door. Posted by Wokayahoga. This footage shows you can't keep a ghost locked up. The hunters are holding an EMF meter toward a locked set of doors. By the corner. After a moment, something pounds against the door and then rattles it, trying to get out. I'm not sure what the context of this video is, but one thing's certain, whatever's inside is not staying there. This one's a real head scratcher. This redditor shared this video of a USB cable with a life of its own. Let's take a look. Let's see it again, slower this time. The cord is still for about 20 seconds and then becomes active again. If you zoom in on the cable, it does look like there's something attached to it about two inches below the head.
but you can't see the string, so I'm hesitant to say that's not just a reflection of light on the cord at certain angles. I can't offer a resounding verdict on this one. What do you think it is? This video from Japan raises some big questions, and the biggest of all is who is the stranger in the house with this man? This video is aptly titled, Is It Following Him? And that question really needs an answer. This homeowner, who I presume is recording after mysterious events kept happening in his home, demonstrates what happens when he turns the lights off. Did you notice the human-shaped silhouette in the room with him? And this isn't just a one-off event. Whatever this is follows him in each room he goes, and it's the same size silhouette there each time. Is this a stalker, a ghost, or both? Whatever the case may be, the question of is it following him can be answered, and that answer is a definite yes. I think it's time to get out of that home while there's still time. Be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel and they have English subtitles. YouTuber Hype Mike and his crew completed the 3AM challenge, which he says changed their lives forever. Let's see how. Part of the challenge involves banging pots and pans together. Two, one. Yo, no, no. Yo, 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 yo. No, me too. I'm not even doing it. Wait. After splitting up, they're in the cellar, where a chair starts rocking on its own, and then they hear a scream. Okay, we're so... Oh, God. I have my watch. What the f*** was that? Shh. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Get down, get down. What are we gonna do? They come out of their hiding spot and find one of the crew's flashlights abandoned on the floor. Dude. Why? Someone's flashlight. Hello? Shh. Then they hear something on the stairs. Under the table. Under the table. What is this figure? They watch and listen in horror as the thing moves around. Later, they spot the figure down a hallway. They realize it's not their friend, and in the end, they nearly get stuck inside this home forever. Dude, it's coming. From which way? The stairs. The, the stairs. The stairs. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like away from it. Get away from it. Away from it. Windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windows. windows, windows there's windows. nothing. Um, no, I'm telling. There's another exit over here, bro. What was that figure? Was it the devil? 3 a.m. is the devil's hour, so I'd put my money on it. And it's no wonder that these guys' lives have been forever changed. I don't think I'd ever sleep again. YouTube team Ozark Paranormal Project sets up a stationary camera in this haunted room. While the group is all hanging out in the hallway, notice that their shadows cast from a light in the next room to the upper wall. But later, when no one's there, strange lights are cast on the room's walls. What was that? Watch above the open door.
It almost looks like fairy dust. It doesn't appear the same as the other light sources falling in the room. But is it paranormal? I think it's more likely a camera glitch of some kind, but I've never seen one so bizarre. A terrible demon has set up shop in this house, and Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to face its wrath. The demon first makes its presence known in the wardrobe. With his nerves on edge, Dennis asks the demon to reveal himself. <laughs> then things get real creepy. Moments later, the demon's face appears on Dennis's camera, after which this happens. <laughs> The demon has definitely been released, and if I were Dennis, I'd be careful. It seems like this one means business. When YouTuber Exploration Unknown visited a haunted house built on cursed land, he heard a female ghost speak. Let's hear what she has to say. Now, so the young lady, can you tell me your name? Now look in the right hand window of the door. It looks like someone is standing there and then moves to the side. Now so the young lady, can you tell me your name? The spirit repeats her name many times. Annie. Abigail wants to be free. Say Annie. Annie. Free me. Uh. Yeah. When he asks what happened to Abby, he gets a response. Annie, what happened to you? To me, it sounds like she passed away during some sort of battle. I'm sure she has a reason to stick around here after, but it probably wasn't to be paranormally investigated. This place is terrifying. YouTuber Terror Alex Streamo encountered tons of paranormal activity at this haunted playground. First, they hear children's voices in the darkness, and then they see a swing swinging on its own. <laughs> Next, another childlike voice is heard. Then something bangs against the roof above. and the children's voices are heard again. And again here. Finally, they capture something visible on camera. Later, another figure is moving through the tall brush. I'm not sure if the figure is a child, but the voices throughout the video definitely sound like it. Is this a case of the urban legend of black-eyed children? I wouldn't get near enough to find out. TikToker Smug Puppy has experienced paranormal activity in her home since 1997. The activity comes in waves, lying dormant for years before spiking. This is one of those spikes. At first, she and her dad are just enjoying their morning. Are you enjoying my dumb kiss, Dad? But then this happens a moment later. Oh my god! Jesus! 
I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. The ghost confronts him, knocking the snack right out of his hand. Here it is again. This is the first time the ghost has ever done this to anybody. Some in the comments think the slap sounded off. Others think the ghost doesn't want people eating junk food. I think this looks legit, and if the ghost is starting to physically harm the home's residents, then this ghost needs to be removed from this home. While exploring this haunted place, YouTuber Rodolfo Augusto and his crew are trying to escape the creature. Let's see if they do. They find a mysterious jar inside the home, but as they're examining, Examining it, a bang is heard. They try to open the jar, but again, hear a noise. They push this door open but are too scared to enter. And yet it won't stop. That's when they finally see it. Eu vi. That's all I need for my dreams to forever be nightmares. After a series of unexpected passings in his family, YouTuber Slightly Scared 2012 experienced this. Do you see a face in the fabric? The YouTuber believes it's his departed cousin's face. The cousin in question passed away, falling from a highway overpass, and within hours, this face appeared on the seat of the chair while the YouTuber was sitting in it. I wish we had a picture of his cousin to compare, but nevertheless, I definitely see a face here, but whether it's pareidolia or not is the big question. The demon that possessed this girl may have been exercised, but it never left this place. YouTube channel Chamos investigates this abandoned house in which a girl underwent her exorcism. This is what happened. First, the presentation. Why is the demon presenting this terrifying toy doll? It also moves a chair. <laughs> A moment later, the baby crib is gone. <laughs> Things keep moving. Notice the sound, you'll soon see what it is. Later, as they're getting a reading on their K2, something even creepier unfolds. What is that? What is that? 
cara? Meu Deus do céu, velho. Olha isso. Que é isso, velho? Vocês estão vendo isso? Vocês estão vendo isso, cara? Ah, meu Deus do céu, velho. Meu Deus, cara. Cara do céu, velho. Was that doll floating, descending, or is it ascending to new heights? No matter what the answer is, I'd be getting the heck out of this place ASAP. At first, Redditor Dawn Grager believes this sound was in her imagination, but then she recorded it. Listen closely. It sounds like a strangled scream. Some in the comments think it's just air escaping a container of some kind. Others think it's a trapped animal. I wouldn't rule out a portal to the fiery depths below, but those two theories also seem likely. This sound is for sure something you don't want to be imagining. It's every urban explorer's worst nightmare. YouTuber Exploring with Danny apparently uncovered four bodies while exploring this abandoned place. His dog came across them first. Diesel! Diesel, what are you doing, boy? After entering, Danny realizes he's happened upon a grim scene. Oh my Hello? I want to think it's fake, but Danny's reaction seems all too real. In wandering around this abandoned building, strange apparitions appear everywhere. Published by Clip Hantu, this scary video is like the Where's Waldo of creepy figures. See if you can spot them all. Notice this thing on the ledge wasn't there a moment before. It looks like a head of hair or a wig. In the next room, you see a dark figure in the corner. As the camera swings back, it's disappeared. And with the flashlight turned on, you can see the room is completely empty. In a kitchen area, there's a pot on the counter at first. Now there seems to be a split in the clip, but the next time we see the same counter, the creepy object has replaced it. That thing looks like a shrunken head. Have these items been placed? Or is this the world's worst treasure hunt? The first and third items do look to me like they were placed. There is a cut in the video in each of these instances, but that shadow figure, that's harder to explain, makes me think this place is truly haunted after all. Lingering above the colony venue in Woodstock, New York, YouTuber Woodstock Webgirl captured this strange, unidentified flying object on camera. What is that? Here's a closer look. One YouTuber says it's an airplane, but I've never seen an airplane appear round in form, even from a great distance. Airplanes also don't generally hang in the same spot for a long period of time. 
While I can't say for sure that it's extraterrestrial, it's certainly unidentifiable and flying. So it is technically an unidentified flying object. According to YouTuber Extinct File, the locals in this community say that macabre events happen inside this cursed restaurant, and when the Extinct File team visited, they weren't disappointed. As they searched the place, a moan is heard. Then they happen upon this strange message. Ven esto, familia. No mames, güey. Ve eso. CJNG. I'm not sure what that could mean. As the team descends the stairs, something nearby breaks. ¿Qué pedo? A la madre, güey. ¿Qué pedo? Then they come across a mysterious object in a bucket. I really want to know what's so disturbing in that bucket that it must be censored. And as they're looking at it, they hear more noise. De algo raro ahí, güey. No, no mames. No mames. Velo tú mismo, güey. And yet another room banging is heard. La madre, güey. Algo nos aventaron, eh. And again. Buenas noches. La madre, güey. No mames. Va a ser alguien, güey. Está fuera, eh. Is something after them? La madre, güey. La madre. No, 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 no. Están por todos lados, güey. No nos quieren aquí, eh? I think it's pretty clear that ghost hunters aren't welcome here. This is the curses territory. And if you know anything about curses, you know not to mess with them. It is said that evil resides here. This paranormal explorer is about to greet it. Ricky Velasquez seems to sense this reputed evil early on. He then senses this hiding under a bench. While outside the structure, he hears a hushed whining or whimpering. Shortly after, he hears what sounds like a bottle being kicked. Back inside, he senses something in his presence again. And then on an upper floor, this unexplained sound. Is evil still lingering? Ricky isn't the only one who can feel it. This next video will deter you from ever wanting to visit the Molly Stark Sanitarium in Ohio. If you know it was on your bucket list. Published by Urbex Hill in October of 2021, the urban explorer explores the abandoned former tuberculosis hospital and what he finds is petrifying. He is on the second floor when he starts to hear footsteps right above him. Is someone there? Do you all hear that? He walks down the hallway where he hears them again. On the way down to the tunnels from the first floor, again he senses something. The door moves ever so slightly on its own. Then moments later, you hear a strange sound like a groan. Later, he's leaving the children's ward and walking down a tunnel when he again hears footsteps. They sound like they're ahead of him. Moments later in these same tunnels, this ghostly apparition appears to him. He continues onward, clearly scared, but finds himself at a dead end. Is he just seeing things? 
Nope, we all saw it too. While exploring an abandoned place, this paranormal crew found a demonic doll. What followed next was shocking. Published by Toppy in December of 2021, Sergei takes this rickety staircase into the attic where he finds this creepy doll. After handing the doll to Nastya, they decide to take it with them. Sergei says they sat in the haunted home for 15 minutes and heard noises that were unfortunately not recorded. It's unclear if their cameras malfunctioned or what went on, but they have decided to try and communicate with the spirits through the doll. After the doll tells them let's play, the pair decide to pack it up and head home. But before they do, this happens. Is this doll truly possessed? Or was it just exercised of its demons? Is this the portal to the fiery depths below? The team from Proving Demons thinks so. In this scary video, they're screaming back in the screaming house. As they prepare to communicate with the spirits, the spirits get there first. I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Why is it starting? Do you know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The device was triggered, and then a tap is heard, and now it's time for a scream with an Aztec whistle. In the distance, they hear something. What the f Sounds like the death whistle. What's that? That sounded like the death whistle. Are you recording? Someone's right? outside. Someone's outside. Stop, stop, stop. Are you recording? Yes. So it's, didn't, it's not just playing. Are the spirits screaming back? They switch places to see if they're hearing the same thing. You blow on the top. Purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. On a recording device, they hear the spirit laughing. It's maniacal laughing. Is it laughing at their games? To me, the retaliatory screaming following the whistle does sound like someone is screaming back, but this laughter is the most unsettling part of the investigation, in my opinion. TikToker KittyK38, also known as Paranormal Nightmares on YouTube, continues to capture paranormal encounters in her home. This appears to be home surveillance footage in their living room. In the left corner, there is a chair with two supposedly haunted dolls on it. Watch what happens when Jamie enters the room. Upon noticing the chair tilting backwards, Jamie grabs a piece of wood and waves it behind the chair to check for any strings. He cannot find any, though. The chair finally returns back down and Jamie quickly exits the room. All this recorded evidence really aids to the legitimacy of this haunted house. What would you do if you lived in a house like this? I'd be sleeping with the lights on. Have you ever captured something out of the corner of your eye in the woods? Vivian Hoffman shares this mysterious video to Facebook page Kentucky Mysteries. Watch closely. Let's see it again. The video was taken while driving, so it's an unsteady capture, but this still photo gives us a clearer image of the figure. It looks like someone in a long cloak wearing a hat. Though the attire isn't distinct, it looks like clothing from a past time period.
The figure looks unnaturally dark, considering it's the middle of the day. I feel like it could be a shadow figure. Many in the comments say the Old Hills Mountains of Kentucky are known to be haunted. Whether a ghost, a skinwalker, or the devil himself, I'm not sure, but this unknowable being definitely makes me nervous. This strange video has me doing a double take, shared by TikToker Uwa Berm 1997 and originally shared by B Joshua 902 The video shows a couple of partiers going down a water slide, but watch the second one closely. It looks like a second pair of legs is sticking out to the side. Watch again. Is someone following closely behind the woman? It doesn't appear so. When she splashes into the water, no one pops up behind her. So what's going on here? The only explanation I can see is that there was another person following closely behind that somehow swam out of view during the splash, but I don't know. It sure doesn't look like that's what's happening. What do you think is going on here? The team from Extinct File believes they were confronted by a demon who is pretending to be a priest. As they're first exploring the haunted place, they get an eerie vibe right away. When they ask the spirit what to do, it provides a resounding answer. Dígame lo que quiera decirme. As he prays and then starts to hear noises, he realizes something else is there. <laughs> Later, they're explaining what happened when they hear the noise again. Mira a la derecha. <laughs> Eso fue aquí. Eso fue aquí, güey. Espérate, no, 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 no. No, quédate aquí conmigo, güey. The demon doesn't let up. Then, when they're about to leave, this happens. Oh, my luz, ese, se me está queriendo apagar. ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasó? No mames, cámara dos. Está sangrando, güey. A ver, a ver qué. What caused this cruise member's nosebleed? I'd say it's all too obvious. It was definitely that grunting demon. And who knows if it's finished with them. Redditor Wayne Bruce 11 was wondering why the TV was on in the morning and on a channel no one in the household ever watched. That's when he checked his security camera. It captured this at around 3 in the morning. Something has turned on the news. Well, I think this could definitely just be a connection or technical problem. The Redditor says they've been dealing with this ghost for 15 years. At least, the ghost's worst roommate faux pas is only late night TV watching. This place is so haunted that seasoned paranormal investigators can't last more than an hour here. So let's see how the YouTube crew from the Paranormal Files does. First, below the bird chatter, they hear footsteps. and it doesn't take long for them to hear them again. Okay. Then they hear it again, down a hallway this time. Soon they hear a knock.
and for some reason they decide to turn the lights off. Check this out, I'm gonna turn the light out for a sec. Oh, oh Jesus. Sorry, sorry. As their paranormal devices go off, they hear another noise. What was that? I don't know. You know what that sounded like? It sounded like somebody picked up your bag and f***ing slammed it on the ground. They reset their devices only for them to be triggered again moments later. <gasps> what the f***? Bro, I just reset that on camera too. Yeah, we got it. Isn't that where Wyatt got scratched? Yep. When they ask the spirits to walk near a device, they make a noise off screen instead. It starts to light up more if you can walk near it at any time while we're here. That'll show us that you have some energy. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was a knock. Then one of the crew feels something on him. So that when we walked over there, it said that they were evil, they're a demon, and then it said scratch. <laughs> what the oh. Some just crawled up my leg. Every time they try to interact through devices, the spirits demonstrate that they don't need them. Then you can speak to us. Where the f did that just come from? And then a door slams. This place is eerie, dude. I don't have any devices. On. Oh, oh! Door, bro. Where? And the knocking continues. This is kind of creepy. Yeah. As the tour continues, another door slams. Did you not hear that? No. It was just like a slam, but way further away, like the front door. And whatever energy is there starts to affect them physically. We want to try this experiment with you. <coughs> this object. You good? You good? You feeling like you're choking? Yeah, they continue to communicate with them. Okay, you, you can't choke me. But who are you? You had an injury? The fear crescendos. We are watching you. Oh, 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 oh. I heard that too. Something just tapped yeah. me on the foot. Something just tapped oh, me on the shoulder. I heard like a Something little tap. Until they've had enough. We're going to make our way out of here. We just want to say... After watching this video, I can see why no one lasts more than an hour in here. This is one of the most active haunted places I've ever seen. During a thunderstorm over Barcelona, an unidentified flying object popped in for a visit. Shared by Redditor Little Space Moshi, this large unidentified flying object left its blinkers on. The unidentified flying object appears unmoved by the lightning. The large saucer just hovers there, leaving many concerned, but don't be alarmed. While it may be fake, I think that a CGI artist should earn an Oscar for this one. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has seen a lot in his line of work, but he calls this the worst night he's ever had in a haunted house. Let's see why. First, something appears on his monitor. A little later, the lights go out. Then something lets itself in. Mm -hmm. 
Tim checks it out. When he doesn't find anything, he decides to sleep, but he really shouldn't. <laughs> the demon seems to have choked him. And that's not the end of it. He says the inscription was written as if from inside the mirror. Later, the demon is again captured, creeping on the monitor. As Tim looks for him, he's found hiding. And the game continues. Until the demon makes its move. I don't think I've seen a demon appear on camera like that before. And then for it to get so aggressive, Tim is lucky to have made it out alive. When this early riser arrived at work at 6 a.m., she didn't expect to find her first customer waiting. Posted to TikTok by The Blaze Beauty, the worker exits the kitchen and enters the cafe area, revealing a figure standing just outside the front window. She walks toward it. At first, you can't tell if the figure is facing away from or toward the window, but as she steps closer, it looks like the figure is facing toward it. Though you cannot see its face, the figure then slams the window with one gloved hand. What is this thing? Uh-uh. Bro. What? Oh, girl! <laughs> oh, my And what does it even want? Many in the comments are shocked that she even approached. Others think he's harmless and just wants a burger. What do you think? It's the window slam that makes me feel like their intentions are nefarious. This family is getting no sleep. TikToker Paranormal Replay shares this scary video whose original source is YouTuber Ama Media Channel. A mother and her children are sleeping on the floor when this happens. The lady moves the toy, as though she's used to these types of strange occurrences, but not long after, it starts to move again. And then an object is flung from the sink. <coughs> that one finally scares her awake, but as she's just settling back in, she hears this.
what sounds like a hair dryer wakes her up again, but the next disturbance wakes them all. Did you see it? At the end, peering around the corner. Is the ring girl behind it all? Whatever it is, I won't be going back to sleep tonight. Something is watching, but what that is, we don't know. TikToker Axel Loza Official shares this creepy video captured in these boys' room at night. Two boys are seen sitting straight up in bed, staring at something. Aquí están mis hermanos. Y desde hace rato se quieren dormir, pero están viendo la misma cara que yo. What are they looking at? Well, you're about to find out. No sé qué hacer. No se pueden dormir. Me vean, aquí está. A childlike face is peering out from a frosted closet window, but when the cameraman goes to open it up, this happens. Where did she go? While I would be hiding in the comments with everyone else, I'm going to check all my closets real quick first. YouTuber Hassan Barbar is used to encountering mysterious and paranormal anomalies. When he enters a room of this abandoned place, something is hiding beneath the covers. The figure is rocking and moaning, and his son gets closer to investigate. As he approaches, he senses something else behind him. And still, he gets closer. After finding the figure has disappeared, Hassan continues to investigate the rest of the home, and something starts to bark at him. The thing continues to taunt him. Then things grow even more active. But as to what is making that noise, it never becomes clear. While a lot of this video is mysterious, this cut makes me skeptical. Clearly, there was a cut in the video there, so I assume whatever form was beneath the blanket could escape. Still, I really enjoy the disturbing atmosphere of this investigation. Have you ever heard your loved one's voice coming from another world? Posted to TikTok by Gio Van Lima, this creepy video will catch you off guard. Oh 
The man recording hears a woman's voice which he identifies as his girlfriend's coming from around the corner, but he turns to find her asleep next to him. He writes that they were alone at the time, so who or what is trying to lure him into another room? Is this one of those demon spirits? I think that's a strong possibility. None other than Napoleon Bonaparte once lived in this mysterious abandoned mansion. Let's take a look at what he left behind. YouTuber Exploring with Josh leads the way through this dilapidated chateau. You know, normally maybe because I'm in France, I wouldn't want to come to this place because it's decayed. It, it might not be that good compared to everything else that's here. But man, Napoleon stayed here. That's all that matters. That's that's why. I mean, that's this is... I wonder if the little corporal slept in that bed. Josh also comes across this mysterious photograph. Look at this kid right here. Knickknacks. I think there was, uh, maybe at one point, could have been a flower right there, but don't know. The history of this place is multi-layered. I mean, this place has been inherited like multiple times through different owners and generations that who knows who was the last owner to actually stay here. But assuming by looking at the beds, they had children. <laughs> Multiple. In this room, the ceiling collapsed, making things a whole lot messier. Jeez. I have pictures of what this was without this collapse, and we're going to slip them in here throughout this video so I can show you what it was even four years ago to from now. As one of Josh's friends tries to get some deeper footage, an unwelcome creature makes an appearance. You're like Pooh Bear who's stuck in the tree for honey. Oh, there was a bat that just touched your butt, bro. They then managed to open the door to the safe. What is that? Did they open up the door? Yo! Yo! Dude, yes! Okay, we're not stuck in this safe. Guys, we did not destruct any property in the making. Although they didn't find anything valuable inside, I think that perhaps there were valuables in here at one point, but they were taken. I bet you they did that to see if there's like hidden treasure that was behind it. So they did that just in case. Most likely that's what it was. Well, there's old paintings there, so these probably were. Uh, were oh, really rare. So could have been Da Vinci's yeah. paintings, dude, for all you know. Wrong. Seriously. Are you getting Napoleon vibes from this place? I sure am. And his energy doesn't seem so small. This paranormal investigator's creepiest capture in a cemetery is bone chilling. The YouTuber was exploring the hauntings at St. Joseph's Cemetery near Kimswick, Missouri, when she captured several EVPs. Michael. Michael. Later, while she was attempting to communicate with the passed on using a spirit box, Michael made his physical cameo. Watch to the right, just above the vehicle. <laughs> Which grave is yours? Nobody appears to be in the vicinity. So to whom does this shadow belong? I vote for Michael. Don't accept help from just anyone. They might not be what you think. YouTuber Scaryfield shares this creepy video which is trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The video is actually from YouTube channel True Horror Stories POV, and this horror story occurred on a dark road at night. In the beginning, the woman starts having car trouble in a cursed place. <sighs> After pulling to the side of the road, a random stranger stops to help her. <laughs> Ah, dia termati-mati daripada saya jalan tadi. Tak tahu apa pasal. Boleh cik tolong? 
The guy checks out a few things, but each time the woman attempts to start her car, it's still having trouble. The man then tells her that it's not a mechanical problem. But rather that something attached itself to her on the cursed route she took, and maybe he was right. While this is just a reenactment, these incidents are said to be based on true events. <laughs> well, if this happened to me in real life, I can't imagine I'd live to tell the tale. Is Laney and Ben's poltergeist getting stronger? Watch this video and judge for yourself. As usual, the poltergeist seems to be most active in the kitchen. Activity more and more aggressive. He has even resorted to ruining their dinner. Poltergeist just seem to be so frustrated. And he isn't finished. It goes without saying that Laney and Ben share space with one of the most active poltergeists on YouTube. I don't know if Dave and Andy are becoming more aggressive due to anger, or if their YouTube following is cheering them on. Dennis from Dark Ghost Paranormal is exploring this scary house with ghosts. And he's in for a real boo while searching what looks like a storage area of the home. He falls to the ground. In fact, it looks like he breaks clean through the ground, and he does. The disturbance is captured from another room. A mysterious anomaly is seen in that same storage room. And that anomaly may be getting aggressive with him. But nothing is there, or so it seems. Just as he's decided to leave, he's confronted by the ghost again. <laughs> One actually might think it's an earthquake, if not for the terrifying knowledge that this place is haunted. Later, he hears a whole lot of ruckus again and goes to investigate, when, behind him, there's a growl. What sort of beast is in here with Dennis? I don't think that's a ghost. Sounds more like a demon to me. Whimsical YouTuber Erwin Saunders is being stalked through his magical forest by a fangirl named Carol, and together they spot something special.
What was that in the cave? They see her again in the light. So this species, because they're relatively calm. She doesn't seem to mind us being here, so. Oh, she's, oh, she's so gone cute. In. And then again, up close. Can I talk to her or anything? Can I say anything? Shall I say anything? No, no, just stay still. Oh. I really missed Irwin's captures like this, even though they're kind of creepy, and I think Carol is a great addition to his magical team. No one is safe in this church of demons. Jody from Hunting the Dead enters this very scary church whose entities are highly active. Can you, can you knock like you just did a moment ago in the direction where I can find you? They really do seem like they have something to say. But I'm gonna say a prayer right now, and if there is something truly demonic here. <gasps> yo, yo. <laughs> that something seems urgent. Do you mind if I'm here? He hears a wail in the distance. And things start to spin. Yo, what? Dude, I'm not losing it. That light just came on and that fan just moved a little bit. Then things light up. When the demons start to whistle, you know it's time to leave. Yo, yo, yo. Jody doesn't heed their warnings, and he pays the price. If there's anything you want to say, speak into my camera. What do you think these demons were trying to communicate? Whatever it is, they got their points across. YouTuber Joey Official is staying in the Haunted Queen Mary in room B340. Watch what happens next. Room B340 has significant paranormal activity dating back to 1967. What is going on? Oh my god! Not only does the activity not look staged, but I'm sold that this place is haunted based on their sheer terror. YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life is at it again with this video of paranormal activity in a haunted home. As he's describing what he witnessed in the home when the cameras were off, something happens while they're on. What, uh, Later, as he's speaking with the spirits, things light up. For some reason, Dennis sticks around, only to witness this. Here it is from another angle.
Later, he sees something in the corner. I don't know if the camera saw it. I'm going to get the light. When I got the light... Here it is again. Is this figure what has been causing all this mayhem? I think it might be. There are demons here, and Dennis shouldn't stay around too long, lest they get attached. Mysterious rare creatures walk this earth, and most of us will never get a chance to see them. Until now. Shared by YouTuber Satpam Horror, this creature is known as a Parakang in Indonesian. And this is what it sounds like. If this isn't some expert makeup, then I am 100% terrified. The sound coming from this creature also makes my skin crawl. Its glowing eyes and small sharp teeth look demonic. One thing's for sure, I would never search for this creature. YouTuber Hey Charmaine began posting about her experiences in her home. As her story unfolds, so does a terrifying truth shared by YouTube channel The Grave Digger. This scary video shows how Charmaine's horror story escalated. It all started with this strange object she found. And, um, I got a pack of Pepperdine like 10 years ago. Um, but it's modeled after the Bodhidharma, and I don't usually take it out. After setting up security cameras in her room, she captured things moving unexpectedly. A few days later, while the dog was sitting for her friend, this happened. Why are you whining, baby? Cooper, what are you staring at? Dude, there's nothing in the hallway. Later, she captured a figure watching her home in the darkness of night and then heard something inside. After deciding to go stay at her parents' house for a while, things escalated. Watch the doorway behind Charmaine. You have been really nice enough to like let me stay there and <laughs> What was that thing? I'm not sure what this figure is, but it seems to be related to the mysterious object that Charmaine found. With all these strange events unfolding, Charmaine has lasted a lot longer here than I would have. Keep your eyes peeled for this one. YouTuber Cryptid Encounter shares this scary video of an unknown creature in the darkness. Did you see it? Watch for the closet. What is that thing? The creature's eyes are glowing. Human eyes don't do that. Is this some sort of nocturnal cryptid species? I think it might be. Its skin looks reddish, although that may just be the light. It otherwise looks human, but somehow not human. Published by Dark Ghost Paranormal in August of 2021, 
Dennis set up cameras in a bunker hidden beneath a school. And this abandoned bunker in Germany has some mysteries up its sleeve. One camera captures a door slowly opening. In another room in the school above, Dennis asks for a sign that someone's here, and this is the response. In the bunker, a blast makes Dennis jump. It sounds like it's coming from this box. Later, the light from his camera shuts off, and he's left in the darkness. Through the spirit box, the spirits tell him it's a trap. Strange carnival-like music seems to be coming from the spirit box. As Dennis's lights continue to malfunction, he has no escape. The door to the room is locked, and he can't get it open. He is in the darkness again with only a lighter to keep him company, while something unknown growls from the shadows. Later, he is told through the spirit box not to come. He finds the previously locked door mysteriously open to him. After racing out of there with his equipment, we can only imagine that he heeded the spirit's advice and never returned, which is a smart call. A tech-savvy phantom is entering the chat. YouTuber Amitav Paranormal Tech YT went live on his YouTube channel and his REM pod activated. So he set up a security camera in the room at night. This is what happened. An invisible entity enters. And not long after, this happens. A light turns on and off. This footage is creepy for sure, but is it paranormal? Or can it be explained? I'm not sure, but I'm looking forward to seeing what Amitav captures next. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by A Growing Lotus, filmed in the Inland Empire in Southern California, this redditor suspects these lights are a part of an unidentified flying object. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Are the, is there three of them? Yeah, it's like three. What is that? There's a button. Mom, guys, uh, what the heck is this? Keep recording it, because that is weird. And the way they're moving, like, up and down, airplanes don't do that. Airplanes don't move up and down like and that. And it's not a drone either because... What? The other one's kind of disappearing. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Adventurous Ad 2736 wondered if they were paper lanterns, to which the uploader responded saying, They move too fast up and down, and I don't think paper lanterns can do that. And Faded Claws YT wrote, It's probably just those drones people use for light shows and stuff, to which the uploader responded saying, They didn't look like drones in person, but who knows? They were extremely bright. You can't tell in the video, unfortunately, and they disappeared eventually. So which side are you on here? Paper lanterns? Drones? Or a legit unidentified flying object? Let me know in the comments. I thought I was hallucinating at Matt. first. And that one, the other one's like already disappearing. I'm having like w a Matt. really weird deja vu feeling. Just go away now. But the other yeah, one's kind of disappearing. Like <gasps> Did they just disappear? The the first one. There's one right there. This camera caught movement where there was none, at least upon first glance. Redditor Lexi shares this mysterious video to the Paranormal Video subreddit. Keep an eye on the back bathroom. 
Did you see it? Something peeked in and out of the bathroom. And yet, according to the Redditor, no one is in there. Some in the comments think there's a squatter hanging out in the Redditor's ceiling. But to me, this looks pretty clearly like a shadow person. This castle in Northern Ireland has hosted a spirit for more than 400 years. The spirit is said to be a demon child. Published by Overnight in November of 2021, the team is spending the night in the boys' most haunted ghost room of Baligali Castle. As they're sitting around, they hear something. It seems to have come from the direction of this spooky night. Are there any spirits or souls that are trapped? You hear that? Over there? Are you here with us? Next, one of the team's paranormal devices go off in the bedroom. It seems like the spirits don't want him to leave. The team then uses a connect to detect the spirit's presence. Just as one of the team feels something on their neck, the spirit can be seen on the monitor, hitting him there. Figure. Ooh. There's a second figure? Yeah. Oh, no. Damn, it was like there for other... Oh. I got it. Yep. I spell something on my f neck. Are you serious? Back in the bedroom, he asks the spirit to turn on a light to confirm that he's communicating, and he responds. Then he asks the spirit this question. The mystery grows deeper. You are not a child, and you're trying to trick me. Turn that flashlight back off when I count to three. Ready? One. Two. Three. Later, they hear a noise in the ceiling, and their flashlight starts going berserk. A moment later, multiple devices are triggered at once. Is it the resident ghost of Baligali Castle making his presence known? What is he trying to tell them? I guess for now, this will remain a mystery. A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look. So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. YouTuber Tim Morozov has faced off with many an entity in his paranormal investigations. This time, he encounters ghosts in the Spine Building. As he sets up his cameras, he's quickly met with some paranormal activity. Этой тюрьмы. Even after this, he continues in his investigation. Кто там? The spirits seem to want him out, but Tim stays. Just as he thinks his fears are unfounded, this happens. My And then his camera keeps freezing right before something much worse unfolds. Snow. Черт. Да блин, может мне перезапустить? Черт. 
Luckily, Tim gets out alive. This time, I am sold that there was definitely something evil in this building. Whether ghost or demon, I'm not so sure, but it definitely wanted Tim's soul all to itself. The YouTube team, Greg and Heather's exploration, know what fear is. They found it in the woods. As Heather is sitting near a campfire, she hears something unsettling nearby. What the heck? What was that noise? <gasps> She goes to investigate. Hello? Where is that coming from? Nobody answers, so she continues on. As she hears the sound again, she finally encounters its maker. There it goes again. Oh my Hello? What is this creature? What are you doing out here? Oh my Whatever it is, it's soon coming for her. Will she escape him? Where'd you go? It's almost creepier when he disappears. While the YouTuber explains in the description that this video is, in fact, fiction, the horror is real, and I think their monster is particularly chilling. 